Hey guys, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel, to oh. this video. What are you doing with all the chocolate, mama? Can you put them back? Dear God. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ida Lisa Diaz. Nice to meet you. Thanks for watching. Um, I know I have been gone for three weeks. I'm still pregnant. Don't think mm -hmm. that I gave birth. Don't think that I give birth. We're still pregnant. We're still going at this. <sighs> I still look, look like a hot balloon. I'm on a exercise ball. So if you see me like bouncing is because of that. I'm trying to have this kid fast. So in today's video. It's like I'm, I want to update you guys. Because I feel like I haven't been here. Um, Lately. Well not lately. I haven't been here in three weeks. It's about to be a whole month. And I'm sorry. Mama. In the last video I made. It was like on what's in my hospital bag, yada, yada, yada. And on today's video, we're going to be talking about induction and baby being too big. And I have, I have gone to the hospital like twice already to the, to the emergency room and everything that's going on and why I'm so stressed and why I cannot film lately. So if you would like to stay here for my update please continue watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel please don't forget to like this video and share of course and let's just get into the video because there's a lot to unfold because that's been happening in these three weeks so let's just get to it let's start by saying that the week I uploaded the last video that was the week I had to go the first time I had to go into um, I had to go into the emergency room because I was having contractions regularly I'm gonna, I'm gonna insert like a picture like here or like something and since I turned turned like 34 weeks I've been having these contractions regularly, but the thing is that I'm not like, I'm 0% effaced and I'm 0% dilated from last time I checked. And the contractions are not as um, like strong or like persistent. So they categorize it as irregular and mild contractions. So because of that, they like they haven't done nothing to like help me out or nothing because they're like, oh, that's that could be cat um that could be like Braxton kicks. Everybody experiences it differently. So um so yeah, I went whatever they did all that and that's what I was told. Oh, like we cannot do nothing. Let's just continue with. The pregnancy yes normal as usual with the routine whatever so after that I had my appointment and when I went to my appointment um I had the let me see the name because I always get it messed up and I don't want to get the name messed up stress test I think it's called so that was my first week of the test because they do that every week like after you turn like 36 but because the baby was too big, they were like, oh no, we're going to start from 34 weeks. So I started my weekly routine of it. So when I went to the first stress test they did, um, that same day I had like a, like a fetal um, measuring follow-up. And we discovered that the baby, the baby's weight and the baby's um, size size and weight yeah size and weight he's he was measuring at 36 weeks and two days he was measuring 41 weeks old in weight and size so because of that they wanted me to to test me more and like to do like all these blood tests and all that stuff to see like you know like signs of diabetes or like anything like that so that same day they did the first stress test on me and Again, I was having like regular contra contractions, but they weren't like that, um, uh, that intense 
for you to call it like okay you're having like really crazy contractions so um after that day i had to go to my next appointment like a few days after so i went to my appointment as usual <laughs> I went to my appointment as usual came to find out that because baby was too big I had to be induced a week before 40 weeks so I will be induced at 39 weeks you know again when they checked me because this was the thing so when I went I was like 37 weeks in some days right and I thought they were gonna do a membrane swap or sweep I don't know if I'm saying it wrong I'm sorry so when I got to my appointment on um, 38 weeks and like a couple days 37 weeks 37 weeks and a couple days before that my previous um appointment I was told that when I got to 37 weeks and a couple days we were gonna do a membrane swap like to see like because there's a 50 50 chance i guess you could break your water right there it could be days after you get your like your water starts to break or whatever so um when i got to my appointment come to find out that my OBGYN um was not there so another doctor had to see me the doctor that saw me she didn't want it to do no membrane swap on me because she said that it's not necessary but my concern was and is that in my head I was thinking when I was 36 weeks and couple days the baby already had a weight and measurement it's measurement everything was of 34 weeks and couple days what makes you think that if I go all the way to 40 weeks the baby's not going to be like 10 pounds and I have like let them know in my OBGYN, my doctors everywhere that my wishes are that i don't want a, a c-section like i do not want a c-section like that's something that i'm trying to prevent because that's something that i don't want because of my plans because of because of my lifestyle because of what i'm, I'm gonna be going through on september and we all know what starts on september school scarlet's about to start school a couple days after me having a kid i was telling her like yeah but the doctor said he gave me the green light the baby's a healthy baby i'm a, I'm, I'm really healthy nothing is wrong with the pregnancy except that we both both have weight on ourselves and i was telling her and she was telling me that i don't need no 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 induction that i don't need no membrane swab that i don't need nothing that let's just let the baby come on its own but once again it's like my thing is since we found out that the baby's way too big and i don't want a c-section i told her how is it gonna be like what are they gonna do what's the procedure that they're gonna do if i wait till i'm like 40 weeks like what are the like what if the baby wants to come past due you know what i mean so that that didn't go as planned so things got that um minors she was there so she she knows um she knows everything about my pregnancy because every time the doctors are like she goes in so she knows all, all that so she came in and she was talking to the doctor and she was telling her like no it's not she's not asking for an induction or like for a membrane swap only because she wants to it's because the baby's too big and the doctor already like told her that it, it will be a, it, um okay like he gave her the green light to do the membrane swap today um and to put her for induction whatever if the membrane swap doesn't go through so um she didn't want her to do the membrane swap that's it and she said um the only thing i could do is i could make her appointment for the induction so now um a couple weeks later I am due for an induction so we're going through with the induction because the baby's too big and that was my last appointment I haven't seen none of them I haven't talked to none of them but I'm not talking trash about none of them no I'm not saying that but this is my last week 
couple days with this huge belly because of all that and i feel like if they do a membrane swap on me i feel like i'm gonna go into labor like this because my contractions are not braxton kicks my contractions are like lower back cramping pain like the ones that i'm having lately they're like of course now the thing is that they're not as frequent as they used to be that's one thing and before it's like i will have them but it will be like you know like my stomach getting tight and things like that now mm -mm, now it's like it feels like my lower back is hurting and i'm like cramping like period cramping so it's like i feel like the baby is already like on its birth kennel or however you say that like he's really low on the pelvis because i cannot sit down straight I, there's like a lot of things i cannot do because i will feel like the head right there so i feel like if i if i would would have gotten a membrane swab like back then or now i feel like i'm gonna go into freaking labor because everything i'm feeling like my belly has dropped noticeably it's like girl girl it's like if i tell you all the symptoms you'll be like yes you're gonna go into labor soon you will but because the doctor's not here now and i cannot talk with him i have to just go with what that doctor is telling me to do so so now i'm doing an induction and that's that let's leave it at that let's leave that topic let's leave it at that because girl yeah i'm dying i cannot get out of bed and then it's like when i get out of bed and i try to walk it's even harder because i cannot breathe it's impossible for me to breathe when i'm walking i cannot walk not that i cannot walk but you know what i mean like i could walk but it's like i have to sit down because i get really lightheaded really lightheaded i try to get really dizzy and i lose my breath i lose my breath entirely um i know i haven't been filming but it's because i have been feeling the same way for like three two weeks now and it's so crazy because I'm like, okay, today I'm going to do it, today I'm going to do it, and then I end up and I don't do it. But it's not because I don't want to film. It's because my body does not have the energy to sit down and explain myself and talk for a long period of time. I have, what, three minutes just talking. And I feel like if I was talking for over an hour now, I have tried to do anything and everything for me like, to sit down and actually film but my body's just off i just cannot and yeah it's like i'm trying my best to be as active as i can but um nothing is working and i'm just hoping that baby can come out before his due date because i don't think I'm going to be in the right state of mind <laughs> if I last all the way up to 40 weeks. 